Hey everybody, Matthew Doyle here. I just have a quick tutorial on how to get the CatFu Game Kit from the Autodesk Make Game site set up in Stingray. You can see here I've downloaded the zip files and inside the build phase zip file you're going to find this quick start to Stingray folder and inside that you've got the Stingray files folder and in this folder you're going to find the three project files for Stingray for the CatFu project. Make sure you extract those somewhere as I've done here. The Quick Start Stingray folder is where you're actually going to find the Stingray project. Now this project was for Stingray 1.0, but we're going to be migrating it into 1.3. So open up your Stingray projects window, project manager window, and choose Add Existing, and simply browse to that folder wherever you put it on your hard drive. You can see here I've put it here in this CatFu folder. I'm just going to select that folder, Quick Start Stingray, and choose Select Folder. And that should add Quick Start Stingray to my folder, my projects list. And I'm going to scroll down at the bottom here under Levels and choose Level underscore 01. There's Quick Start Stingray. And we'll just go ahead and choose Open here in the Project Manager window. This will go ahead and load up Stingray. And if you haven't done this before, this and this is using uh, Stingray 1.3, it's going to ask you to migrate the project. Just choose Yes. I've already migrated it. So here we are in Level 1. I'm going to turn the grid off with G. You can see the entire level here. And uh, just quickly, I'm going to show you where the assets are. If you go under Content, Levels, that's where you'll find all the levels in the Asset Browser here on the bottom left. There's Level 1. And if we go to the Level Flow tab here at the top, next to the Viewport, you'll find the, the Flow nodes for this level here. Very simple. And this is based off of the Quick Start to Stingray tutorial you'll find on YouTube done by Digital Tutors. Uh, down here in the bottom where it says script, we'll go into the Lua folder. This is the three script files for the project, and that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and hit the green play button here on the top left next to the viewport, and that will go ahead and launch the level after a short compile. Now, bear in mind you're going to need an Xbox controller to control CatFu, so make sure you've got an Xbox controller plugged into your PC along with the driver. And here we go, we have CatFu. We can actually move them around using the controller and pick up that power up there. So that's pretty much all there is to the level. There, It is a very simple tutorial. Uh, follow the quick start guide on YouTube and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.